All right, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna go over glycolysis steps six and seven. In the previous step, I mentioned that we generated two molecules of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. So that's what step six is gonna involve. So we start off with glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. And in the reactant side, we're gonna have one molecule here of NAD+. We're also going to have one molecule of phosphate. We're going to use the enzyme glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase to make 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate with resulting NADH and hydrogen ion. So let's go over it slowly. So the, what we're doing here is we're taking this enzyme, glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase, and we're essentially taking this phosphate and attaching it to carbon number one, shown here. So what we're doing is we're, we're basically stripping away this hydrogen and replacing it with this phosphate group right there. Now this hydrogen we stripped off, it's going to join NAD+. Plus making NADH. You're probably wondering, where is this hydrogen ion coming from? Where, how has it just mysteriously appeared? Well, the reason we actually have this on the product side is because this phosphate group is coming from a molecule called hydrogen phosphate, right here. So what we're doing is this hydrogen phosphate we're stripping away the phosphate group and we're adding it onto here. The hydrogen that's left over is the resulting product here. Because this phosphate doesn't just come from anywhere. It's, it has to come from somewhere. It's just not floating around in our body. So there's a random hydrogen phosphate molecule just wandering around and we break that apart and the phosphate joins the carbon number one, and the hydrogen is a free-floating hydrogen ion, which is on the product side. That's all we're doing here. So the delta G value is 6.7 kilojoules per mole. This is unfavorable, but this reaction actually couples with step seven to propel this forward. So in other words, so glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase is oxidizing glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. So this basically means we're losing a hydrogen and in exchange as a phosphate group right here. The NAD plus picks up the hydrogen and becomes NADH. And the phosphate and the hydrogen both come from hydrogen phosphate, which is this. While we're doing this, well, we're adding the phosphate so we can cash it in in the next step. You'll see. Now, here's something you must know, and a lot of people actually don't account for this. All of this is happening twice. This entire reaction is happening two times. So everything here going on forward, so step six, step seven, step eight, step nine, step 10, are all happening twice. The reason is because in step five and four, we generated two molecules of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. You know, this, this reaction is showing one time. We do it twice. That's why I said it two times here. Because we made two molecules of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. The overall reaction for glycolysis is making using one molecule of glucose to make two molecules of pyruvate. So we split up the two molecules of glucose into two three carbon sugars. This is one of the sugars and is a duplicate glyceraldehyde three phosphate. So it's gonna run through the same reaction again. So that's why we run it twice. If you need like a little review, please watch the last video. It'll really help. Step seven, still part of the energy payoff phase. So now we have the one three bis phosphate glycerate. Now here's where we're actually going to cash it in. We're going to add 
in the reactant side, an ADP molecule, adenine, adenine diphosphate. We're going to use the enzyme phosphoglycerate kinase. And what we're going to do is basically strip off this phosphate we just added. And we're going to add it. We're actually going to add it here. Add it to ADP and it becomes ATP. Because adenine diphosphate has two phosphate molecules. Adenine triphosphate has three phosphate molecules. So we're adding one of those phosphate molecules, making ATP. And that is our source of energy in glycolysis. So this is where we're actually cashing in in our investment. The delta G value, I should put a triangle here. The delta G value, oh, that's not a triangle, is negative 18.8 kilojoules per mole. So it's an amazing reaction to couple with because of the major energy release. Phosphoglycerate kinase causes substrate level phosphorylation and strips the phosphate off and adds it to ADP, making ATP. So cha-ching, we're making energy. And what's the purpose? Well, to make ATP. And remember, we do this, all of it, twice. So this entire reaction is happening twice because now we have two molecules of 1,3-bisglycerate. Because we started off with two molecules of glycerol-3-phosphate, that means we're gonna make two molecules of 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate and then we're going to make two molecules of 3-phosphoglycerate. So everything runs twice. And that is it for step 7. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. So the next video, I think we're going to finish it off with steps 8, 9, and 10. So until next time, later.